In this video, we'll look at how we can investigate the rate of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are converted into glucose and oxygen, which is a gas. We can measure the rate of photosynthesis in different conditions by comparing the volume of oxygen produced in a certain time. The more oxygen is produced, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. An easy way to compare volume of gas produced is to place a piece of pondweed in a sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. This solution has more carbon dioxide available for the pondweed to use than water. We then count the number of bubbles of oxygen produced by the pondweed in a given time, for example one minute. The more bubbles are produced, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. We then change the conditions, such as temperature, light intensity or solution concentration, to see how a particular factor affects the rate of photosynthesis. If we're investigating the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis, light intensity is our independent variable, and the dependent variable is the number of bubbles produced in one minute. We could reduce the light intensity by moving the light source further away from the pondweed, or increase it by moving the light source closer. Remember that light intensity is equal to one divided by the distance from the light source squared. This is the inverse square law. If you do vary light intensity, it's important to use an LED light source. Temperature is a control variable and filament bulbs get hot, which will affect the rate of photosynthesis. LED lamps, on the other hand, don't get hot. You also need to use the same piece of pondweed and keep the temperature and concentration of the solution the same. Counting the number of bubbles in one minute is not very accurate because the size of each bubble can vary and there are sometimes too many to count. Instead, we can place a filter funnel over the pondweed to catch any bubbles produced, then fill a measuring cylinder with the solution and invert this over the top of the filter funnel. Bubbles produced pass through the funnel and into the measuring cylinder where they will displace solution from the top of the cylinder. We can then measure the volume of gas produced. We could also attach the flask to a gas syringe to measure the volume of gas produced. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. The gas produced during photosynthesis is oxygen. If photosynthesis is happening more slowly, we would observe fewer bubbles of oxygen gas being produced per minute. To change the light intensity, we can move the light source either closer to the pondweed or further away. Counting bubbles is a less accurate method of measuring oxygen production because bubbles may be different sizes or there may be too many to count. A more accurate method of measuring the volume of oxygen produced would be to either place the pondweed under a funnel and measuring cylinder or by connecting the flask to a gas syringe. Thanks for watching. I hope the video has been helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.